Are you looking for the best home video projector? I've got this one right here. This company sent to me in the mail. I did an unboxing of it previously. We've been playing with it and using it in our house really liking it. I want to tell you guys all about it today. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that I like, use, and have. And well, this company sent to me in the mail. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. So this projector right here is, it works fantastic, especially for the price that it is. I'll link it up down in the description below if you guys want to go and check it out. Y'all can go read other people's reviews about it and not just take my word for it. But I've been really enjoying this thing. I'm trying to remember the name of it. Like, it started with a C. Cronova, that was it. Cronova right there. And uh, you have some simple buttons on the top here. They do have kind of a wave pattern to them, so you can kind of feel where the buttons are, so where your fingers should be, two rows. Your imports that you have here, your inputs, are two HDMIs, and then you have two USBs right there. This is your power cable right there with your power switch. Then also on the side here, you have an audio out, an AV in, and a uh, computer uh, VGA port in. So it comes with a good amount of inputs to be able to connect all your devices to. So let's go ahead and turn this guy on right here. I'm gonna do that by pressing the button. There is also a remote right here if you guys wanna use that as well. I find that it's a little bit easier. But there's our projection up there. This is a nice, also I wanted to mention that's an LED projector. And so since it's an LED projector, the bulb in it does not get as hot as a normal old school projector. And so um, you, you, you don't have a whole bunch of heat radiating off of here. Also, since it's LEDs, the LEDs are going to last a heck of a lot longer than those old style bulbs. And so you will, shouldn't have to replace the bulbs uh, in the projector, which is awesome. Um, so what we have here, just to kind of let you guys know our setup... Uh, we have our projector right here. I got it on this cart right here because I needed it to put it on something. And then we have, uh, this is a old school, uh, the Nintendo Classic Edition. This is the power for it, and this is the HDMI. The power for it, I'm actually running through the projector through one of those USB ports right there. It actually powers up the Nintendo on there. Then uh, the other port that I have the HDMI on is to our Roku which is this little guy right here, and we keep the Roku remote in there as well. And down here on the bottom, I just put a power strip to be able to plug in the projector and the Roku, and I just run our wires right up here. Now, one thing that I do want to get and try out, because I read about it in the manual, is that these USB ports right here, I mean the, uh, the HDMI ports right here, you can actually plug in like an Amazon Fire Stick, a Google Chromecast, or even a Roku uh, streaming stick into there, if you guys don't want to have all the wires and everything hanging out. I'm actually thinking about trying out uh, at least one of those devices in this thing because I want to see how it performs. Also, I want to get rid of some of those the wires that are on here as well. Now, you will notice that I have this strap on here as well. One day, whenever our kids were watching a show on the Roku, they decided to start flipping these cushions up and it caused the projector to fall because I didn't have it strapped down. Uh, just to tell y'all what happened, this great part came off right here except, and it kept playing whatever they were watching without hesitation. So it does have some durability to it. I was able to actually um, get this piece back on and it looks brand new. So uh, no problems with uh, droppage. It, you know, it dropped the good, uh, what's that, three, four feet right here. Comes up to my waist. So that's, a, uh, I'd say that's awesome in durability test. Uh, let's see, to go, be able to go through some of these inputs with you guys, I showed you guys the power button already. Then the left and right, whenever you just press those, you see up on the top left, there is a power, uh, the audio. That is because there is a built-in speaker into this projector, which you don't see that too often in a projector, especially in a projector at this price range. And the, the speaker actually sounds fairly decent. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the Nintendo, and we're going to hit the source button right here. You'll see all of our sources uh, that pop up on the screen there. You got to press source and then you got to use your up and down arrows to go to the correct source. And look, you hear it? The speaker's right here coming through. And they sound really great. Like we watch movies on here that we stream through the Roku, either on Netflix or our Plex account. And uh, it just, it sounds, it's, it's not like having surround sound or anything. 
Um, but it's like having a good, decent speaker that you can actually hear from. Um, so this does work with the Nintendo, as you guys can see there. Let me go ahead and turn that off. And we'll go through some of these other settings right here as well. Uh, the M is your menu, and you have all these different options. Picture mode, color, temperature, um, the aspect ratio. Let me zoom in on that for you all. The X, X and Y zoom, the noise reduction, uh, color range, projective mode. So you can do it like in the front or the back. Uh, keystone correction, so if you're at an angle like we're at right here, the sides are going to be kind of angled in like a trapezoid, so the correction lets you be able to make it straight. Um, and you may be asking why we didn't mount the projector up onto the ceiling, and the reason is because of that fan right there. That fan's on a big pole coming down, and if we were to mount it way up on that beam, even in the back there, we don't have enough throw to be able to get past the fan. What I'd like to do is bring the fan up so that we could uh, have a little bit more throw from right here to be able to get it without getting any interference from the fan. But uh, otherwise, there's just no other really good place, so we opted for this little cart, which I'm gonna do a review on this little cart right here because I'm really liking it, and it works for the purposes that we have here. Um, I haven't tried using the VGA, namely because I don't have a VGA uh, computer that connects to there. I could check my wife's work computer, but I don't think that one does either. One thing that I do wanna get, though, is some kind of uh, audio out uh, device that goes uh, to a Bluetooth transmitter. And I'd like to try to transmit that through some Bluetooth speakers or something like that, just so that we could up the audio quality. That should work. That'll be an interesting device if I want to uh, utilize that. There is the little uh, IR right there for your remote control. Um, and this is your remote right here. It runs on two AAA batteries in the back here. This whole back, white back cover comes off. Good sleek design right here. It's got a little bit of ergonomics to it. Y'all can see how it's kind of uh, goes uh, slim to thick or thick to slim, however you're looking at it. Take a look at the remote buttons. There's the power button, so you can turn this thing on and off just with your remote right there. Um, there's also a mute button. There's uh, the fast forward and rewind. There's skipping to the next chapters, play pause. Uh, this is to change your aspect ratio, and they give you a simple D-pad here with an OK button in the middle. Uh, this is your menu, your source, and then to go back, and then you have your um, your volume up and down. Like I said, I'm going to link this thing up down in the description below. You guys can go and read other people's reviews about it. Don't just take my word for it, although my experience with it for the past um, month or two that we've had now... I am like really digging on this projector. We really haven't used our TV that much since we've gotten this projector. Uh, kids have been having some fun watching shows. We watch movies. Oh, another thing that I wanted to mention about the ports. On the back here, the USB ports, you can plug in a flash drive into there. And if you have a movie on there or a TV show or whatever, you can play that file on your projector. Uh, you just gotta go through the, the, I don't have one to show you guys, you have to go through the, the menu on there and hit play whenever the thumbnail comes up for it. So that's super cool. One thing I also wanted to note is that I have a four gig Western digital uh, 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 external hard drive that runs on USB 3. I plugged that into there and it wasn't able to pick up on that particular device. I don't know if it was just reading it, and since it's four gigs, it took forever to read it, or if it's just not supported. I left it in there for a good amount of time and nothing ever popped up for me. So um, I wanted to let you guys know that if you guys were planning on getting a hard drive and throwing like a ton of movies on there and plugging it into here, it doesn't seem like it's gonna work. What I would suggest is to utilize a Plex server. If you guys don't know what Plex is, it's an app on a Roku that can next to a computer that holds all your movies so you can stream your movies from that computer to your your projector, your Roku, whatever app you're using, uh, or whatever device you're using the Plex app on. All in all, definitely loving this projector. Can definitely recommend it. If you guys want to check it out, like I said, linking it up down in the description below. I'll link up everything we got here too, all the Roku and the Nintendo and all that if you guys are interested in any of that. If y'all want to uh, go and get some of that fun stuff. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to put some more videos right there on the screen. I'll make one the unboxing video so you guys can see exactly what comes in the box of this projector. Um, and I'll find some other fun videos you guys can click on right there. I'll see y'all in those videos. Thank you dads for watching. Let me know down in the comments below. What projectors are you looking at? What price range are you looking at? And what, what do you plan on projecting? Are you using it for a business? Uh, play games? Watch movies? TV? Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you dads for watching. Like I said, that thumbs up is always appreciated. And dad out.